Good morning. This is Angela with a cup of C on Thursday, September 15th, 2011. Just look at my window as a bird just flew up there. I was waiting for it to chirp for us. So today's topic is so funny the way it came to me. And I even asked I asked for the topic three different times, thinking I was misunderstanding the, the sign or the sign, the uh, visual that I was getting. And oh no, I just got different versions of the same thing each time. So uh, apparently this is the topic I'm to cover today and that's okay because actually I do understand I've got more of a download as to what it is I'm supposed to talk about in relation to it. But it was very funny and I, don't, I know I don't usually talk about how it comes in, but it's um, very hysterical that there's a, a big C. I saw this big C, like a big building, man, mammoth statue C and a train coming through it. I was like, what? <laughs> like, am I supposed to take vacation or what? And, and I heard no. And so I was like, okay, the C train, right? And, um, and then I got all these different versions of seeing a train. So it was really funny that I said, well, okay. C is what I use for the term cr for creator, C creator. And, and I, I even will abbreviated as C a lot of times, like when I'm talking about it in, in like emails and stuff, but actually a cup of C comes from creator and that's, you know, the, the, the same thing as spirit, God, the all encompassing um, power, power force of the universe. And so, like I said, a cup of C comes from a cup of creator as well as a cup of coffee. And so now I get the C train, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> and, and I get it because what's really, really cool right now is so much is going on and so many people are starting to awaken and amidst all of this chaos that's going on in our world uh, and we have all these financial issues and we have um, all these governmental issues and earthquakes and hurricanes and you know this comet that might come and all, all, all this world stuff and all and and exactly what I was told you know I guess a year and a half ago that was going to start happening is happening and it's really really cool to see so many people from all different cultural cu cultural backgrounds all different practices all different belief systems that i know they're all coming um, becoming awake and they're awakening and it's all so very individual and unique that it's a beautiful beautiful thing and a, a friend of mine who is probably the most fundamentalist uh... christian person that i know she's very very fundamentalist in her belief system um, and there's nothing wrong with that, except, you know, she's been very, very tunnel vision in many ways. She came to me a couple weeks ago, and she's like, oh my goodness, I'm waking up in the middle of the night, and I have all these truths, and I understand them as truths, and it, it's just so, I can't even explain it, but I understand now what you've been talking about all this time. And uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful, and how, you know, my faith is so right, and it's right for, but it's right for me. And, and like, your faith is right for you and that makes it right and and you know the buddhist faith is right for the, for him or her and that makes it it right and she goes now i get it and i was like oh that's so awesome because it's true that's what i've been that's what i've been talking about on how we can start you know if as we're awakening and realizing these kind of truths that it's such an individual journey for every one of us and we're all going to the same place it's taking that spiritual journey up the mountain right so, and we're all getting to the top to see the same bright moon in our own ways. So, it's a, it, it's, it's really cool. And, and then what happens when you start realizing that is think of the change in perspective. Think of how prejudice starts going away and acceptance starts taking its place, which is really what our, you know, our goal is. So I've just spoken to so many different people in the last couple of weeks and it's just amazing. How I'm having these conversations every single day and everybody has a different take, a different opinion, a different way that it works for them and yet it's still the same idea. It's still, still the same thing coming from the heart and the same understandings just from a different background, a different perspective. So the the not a word of caution that I'm going to put in here but just the word of awareness to have is as this is happening because when it happens it's so exciting it really is and everybody I've spoken to who has started going through this they're like they're, they're like like uber excited they're like wow this is so cool because now I understand and all these truths are just coming through it's like finally the veil with the higher self just 
got torn down and and they just want to scream it to the top from the top of the of the mountains so the word of awareness is this as that happens it's wonderful to discuss it with other people i love i love it i have open spiritual discussion groups and stuff like that because i love listening to what's going on with everybody individually and we all can learn from each other too and we can all learn different perspectives from what's going on you know with each of us individually the word of caution as we all get on the c train right is not the word of caution the word of awareness is not to remember that we are are good and we're right and perfect in our own beliefs and that the acceptance part is accepting where everyone else is around us now we can offer help and gladly you know in assistance as people feel lost and you know you know then you have this ego play because the ego does step in and you have some that don't you know they'll say oh well you know you know this is how my life goes and I just don't have that same feeling or I don't see it and and the tendency tends to be to push it then on other people when they when they say that it becomes an egoic thing like oh well yeah here I am so let me push on you and it's not it's most of the time it's not an intentionally negative thing but it can be in terms of the other person who isn't quite where you are yet or is in a different just in a just in a different place it might almost pull them back from their awakening in the way of because then they have the ego saying well what's wrong with you and okay well this is what so-and-so is experiencing and they're really 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 convinced that it's right and and everything so it should be what we're going through and we're not or or it's what we should feel and we don't and again there's nothing wrong with that so we're going through again this chaotic time and with all of us awakening which is such a beautiful beautiful thing let's keep it a beautiful beautiful thing and again it's sort of like I talked about not repeating history from like on Monday you know when we were talking about 9-11 on how it's so important to learn from history and to get to the next level so now here's the big lesson we are in the midst of this huge awakening and all of us are like listening finally we're getting the veils taken away from our higher selves we're being we're, we're learning again or we're remembering again how to listen to ourselves and that we have all the answers inside of us and the key is yes it's awesome to get excited the key is not to repeat history in terms of of pushing beliefs on others because look at how many times that's happened with how many belief systems <clears throat> and the key here is so many flavors of ice cream and that we want so many flavors of ice cream because it's what we are it's all this individual experience that we chose to have so the and and, and, and there's no I'm not saying that it's not a, a positive intention when somebody does that but I've heard it I've heard one person who started awakening and they're so ex excited about it that somebody else who's sort of not quite there yet or sort of in a different ballpark um, in terms of beliefs and everything they start pushing then well this is what this is what it is to you or you know or this is what you this is how you should look at it this is this is how you should change your thinking well the better way to approach that is this is how I see it and it makes sense to me like I've always said when I do these webcasts these webcasts are how it makes sense to me and you can take them or leave them they're obviously here for, if you're watching this they're obviously here at the time you need them for some purpose and I always maintain that everybody's belief and, and their faith is very individual to them so that's something to keep in mind and uh, getting on the C train we're all get excited to get on the C train because that means we're getting close and we're getting up to this wonderful awakening time and it, well, we we're in this and we're getting to this enlightenment period and getting to the earth 2.0 thing so just a little bit of clarity and a little bit of stepping back 
taking a couple deep breaths and remembering that yes it is so beautiful what we're all going through but let's be patient and allow everybody else to come into their own and, and try to try to cultivate them coming into their own so on that i'm going to let you go have a great weekend this is angela with a cup of tea